Hello and welcome to Blue Lie Day 28. It is laundry day q and I'm just gonna sit here. Hopefully Doyle will walk through the little hallway at some point. I asked you guys to send me questions on the Instagrams and I am going to answer a few of them. If you guys are not familiar, this is my Instagram right here. This is the image I asked you guys to do the Instagram questions to. So I've got quite a few comments. So let's get into this. I'm gonna get a little bit more comfortable here. <laughs> this is a good question. It says, I believe I heard you say you donated blood to get extra money. If not, I misunderstood. You didn't misunderstand. But you did mention something like that. Can you please explain? Thanks. Absolutely. So in an effort to save money for a down payment on a house, back when I was in Defargo, um, I had, I've never done it here. Um, one of my friends actually from the cities would give blood plasma and so I was asking like how does this work and then they explained to me what it was and I was like okay great. So I attempted <laughs> um, to give blood plasma. They do actually pay you regardless if it works or not but I've got like deep veins um, and the veins that you do see, like, aren't the right vein. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a professional, okay? Like, I am not a physician, a doctor, anything, but they could not get it to, like, come out of me right. I don't know. So I did it three times, and they actually paid me every time to do it, even though I didn't actually get, like, a full donation unfortunately um, but yeah that's something that you can look into in your area if they have it um, I can't remember the place I did mine through but it was in Fargo I don't I think they have them in Minnesota too but it's just like a blood plasma donation place so but they will pay you for your donation um, I don't remember how much it was but I figured hey why not <laughs> this is a funny one. Do you do anything to keep in shape other than walking Doyle? I need motivation in that department. Well, girl, I am not in shape. Um, I have hypothyroidism. If you want to look more into it, go ahead. Um, I don't talk a lot about fitness and health on my channel because I feel like it's super personal. I know people know that I have thyroid disease, but I don't like to talk about it because every time I do, I get lots of comments in the, you know, down below saying that I'm doing something wrong or I, I don't know. I, I, I legit don't want to hear about it because everyone's body reacts so differently to different things and I'm not in the position to tell you what to do and you're not in the position to tell me what to do. Um, my health is between me and my doctors and that's it. And I don't want to give misinformation because that's like my story, I guess. I don't know. I would just rather not. But yes, I do walk Doyle three times a day and um, yeah, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy being active. I don't really enjoy being active right now because um, it's just so humid outside and I just get sweaty and gross and I feel nasty. Um, but yeah, but you know, like in the fall when it's like a good like 50, 60, low 70s, like that is like the perfect time to be outside for me personally. But um, I live in the north, so. I run a little cold. Ah, this is an awesome question. What is the weirdest food combination that you find delicious? Okay, there's this girl that I went to school with. Her name's Colleen. Hi, Colleen, if you're watching. You probably aren't, but hello anyways. So she told me about nacho cheese Doritos and ranch salad dressing. All right, so I thought, oh gosh, this is like craziness. It's gonna be horrible. But the ranch dressing has to be cold, mind you. Like it doesn't taste as good if it's like room temperature ranch. It has to be like cold ranch salad dressing and you dip it. I mean, you don't dip it like you would like a nacho, like a, like a nacho cheese, like, you know, like the goopy nacho cheese stuff. You just place it in there and then you eat it. You know, it's like, it's not a scoop thing, it's just like a dip thing, you know? Like a carrot stick, but like a Dorito carrot stick. <laughs> the first couple ones are like, wait, this tastes different. And then now, like, I can't eat. Like, if I get nacho cheese Doritos, or yeah, nacho cheese Doritos, like, I have to dip them. But, I mean, I rarely ever buy them, but if I do, like, if I'm at a par like a party or something, I can't just eat like nacho cheese Doritos. I I need my ranch dressing. 
thing. <laughs> I know it's really silly, but um, this happened in middle school and I've been like this ever since. So thanks, Colleen. All right, so next question. After you pay off your house, are you going to do a debt-free scream? Well, I've thought about it. I don't, I don't know. I mean, that's several years away. I would love the opportunity to, but I don't know, maybe. I mean, what do you guys think? I think that would be kind of a fun little trip. Next question, I know you like Chinese food. Have you ever tried or liked Greek or Persian food? Um, I have had Greek food before. It's really not up my alley. Persian food, I've never had. I have a, a friend that is Greek and I have tried several Greek dishes and I don't know, I'm just not a fan. Maybe it was the things that they made, I don't know. Um, I've also tried, what are they, euros? It's like spelled gyro, but it's not, it's a euro. But also, not a fan. But I, I have really bland taste in food, so don't take my advice. Ah, next question. Will you be painting the kitchen cabinets? If so, what color? Yes, I will be painting the kitchen cabinets and I will be doing them white. Oh, I saw this question a while ago and I was like, I want to answer this for sure. Um, this person asks, how did you get into being a YouTuber? And what has been your favorite part of being a YouTuber? So how I became a YouTuber, which I use like with quotations because I don't feel like I'm a YouTuber, but um, I just feel like I'm a sharer. Does that make sense? But I put it on YouTube, obviously. <laughs> um, but yeah, so how I got into it is I watched a lot of YouTube for several years before I decided to take the plunge and actually like film myself. My favorite part of YouTube is actually interacting with you guys, like down in the comments or on social media. I think that's really fun. And I remember a lot of you guys that comment regularly and I have interactions with on Instagram and Facebook and all that kind of social media stuff, which I think is super fun because obviously we share some sort of common interest, which is probably why you follow me. Um, but yeah, I just really enjoy the camaraderie and learning about your guys' stories too. Also hearing like suggestions on what you guys want to see from me for videos. Like you guys give me the best suggestions on stuff. So I love asking your opinions on a lot of stuff. This is a good question. It says, hey Emily, I noticed you stated you bank with a bank. Yes, I do. Do you have any opinions on the credit union versus bank debate? Well, I don't really have an opinion. Growing up, my parents, or I should say my father, banked at a local credit union and my mom had like a national chain bank. So, but they like had separate bank accounts, but they were on each other's bank accounts. So like nothing was hidden. It just works for them. I know that's not, not the way you normally do things, but that's just always worked for them and it still works for them now. I had an account at the local credit union as well growing up and I moved everything over to a national bank, actually a couple of different national banks I've been a part of. I don't know. Um, I don't have an opinion because as an adult I have never used a credit union for banking so I, I don't know. Also I really enjoy the flexibility of having lots of different ATMs and being able to travel. I'm really happy that my bank actually is a chain down in Florida too so when I'm visiting my parents if I need to take cash out for some reason or whatever um, normally I don't have to because I usually pull my cash out like at the bank before I go anywhere if I need cash for something. That there are banks down there and there are those ATMs down there where I don't get hit with like, you know, a ton of fees and stuff. So I don't really have an opinion, but sorry, I can't help you. Um, all right, so someone says, hello, just wondering why you didn't buy a house closer to work. Property value, that's why property value. I can get a whole lot more house up here for way less price and in a better neighborhood. So yeah. Here's another good one. <laughs> I know Doyle doesn't get along with other dogs. So true. So I mean, down the line, will you get another fur baby? Would you buy from a breeder again or would you consider adopting? Um, if it was a Shiba, which Doyle's a Shiba Inu, I would probably get from a breeder again. I have a lot of friends that have Shibas and the Shiba rescue organizations are fantastic, don't get me wrong. But I've had Doyle since he was a puppy. 
and he is so neurotic. I mean, you guys see him in the vlogs, but he's at home. Like, he's chill because he's at home. I mean, I take him in the car, and he's just nuts. Like, he just can't handle change very well, and a lot of Shibas are like that. They're kind of neurotic. Some of them are just neurotic in their own home, too. I know a few people that have had Shiba rescues in their home or fostered them, and it's just they're not ever gonna be very well adjusted, which is sad. So I think if I ever got a Shiba again, I would get it from a breeder. But have I considered adoption? Absolutely, like, you know, I would do it with a different breed of dog. I, I don't know if I could do a Shiba adoption. But I know that's bad to say, but I'm telling you the truth. And I'm not opposed to like getting a different breed of dog, you know, once Doyle is gone someday because he will be gone someday. I, I don't know what type of breed, but mm. I would still do smaller, I think, because I do like the accessibility to just like pick him up and remove him from a situation because if I had you know, an 85 pound dog, I wouldn't necessarily be able to like, just pick up the dog and walk away. So, it'd be a little bit more difficult. Uh, what kind of laptop do I use? I use a 15 inch MacBook Pro. <laughs> this is a hilarious question. If you were a vegetable, which vegetable would you be? <laughs> and she says, I was asked this in a job interview and thought it was really funny. Yes, that is hilarious. Um, if I were a vegetable, what would I be? Obviously something delicious, I hope. Um, what kind of vegetable? I mean, I love vegetables, you guys. Mmm, let me think. Ooh, I've got a good answer. I would be a sweet potato because carbs, first of all. I mean, hello. Plus, sweet potatoes are freaking delicious. And I love potatoes. Um, I don't think I haven't found a potato I don't like. You know, come on. And sweet potatoes, oh my god, they're so good baked sweet potatoes oh so yummy a little bit of cinnamon and sugar on that thing oh my god amazing now this is a good question do you have a type when it comes to men um like if i think back on like all the boyfriends i've had in my day they're all very different from each other but i feel like most of them most of them were physically similar ish does that make sense? Their personalities were totally different. I've dated guys that are very outgoing. I've dated guys that are more introverted. Um, and I kind of prefer the introverts, to be completely honest. Not that there's anything wrong with outgoing guys. But usually I'm the outgoing one in the relationship. Um, like on a social scale. But not always. So yeah, I don't know. I guess I don't have a, a type, per se. You know, and I've dated lots of different guys in different types of careers. I've dated like labor type people uh, that work in like the trades. I've, you know, dated guys that wear a suit and tie to work every day. Um, I've dated guys that wear uniforms to work every day and work in public service. And I don't know. I mean, eh, eh. I don't really have a type. Maybe I should get a type and then that would like help me out, you know? Has Doyle always been so calm, or what was he like as a puppy? And it says, when and where did you get him? Okay, so I got him, I've kind of answered this question already, but a little bit different. Um, I got him from a breeder in Worthington, Minnesota. I don't know if they still breed Shebas or not, I don't know. And I got him at, I think like eight and a half weeks old. And then, let's see, has he always been so calm? No, no, he's gotten a lot calmer with his old age, he's 10 and a half, but I mean, when he was a puppy, he was just like zoom, 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 zoom all the time. And it really helped that um, when I got him fixed, that actually helped a lot. He's always been kind of excited about life. Next question, do you use anything for home protection or have you considered a home alarm system now that you're in your own place? You know what I have? Um, I would love to eventually like not now, but maybe like in a year or two, get like a home security system. I would like to have cameras everywhere because obviously I do this, so hello. Um, but just like that doesn't freak me out to have like a camera in every room and stuff and like motion activated stuff. But yeah, I, I think I would. Um, I, always, I also like that, what's it called? The eye ring or the ring or something like that when you like ding dong the doorbell and there's like a little camera. I think that's kind of cool too but I wanna do some more research on those because there's like re either really, really positive reviews on those or there's like really, really negative reviews. So 
um, I don't know, I wanna, I wanna do some more research, plus they're gonna come out with new things in the upcoming years anyway. So yeah, at some point I'll get some sort of home security system. Um, I just want to get more educated on it. This is interesting, how did you get into your current job? I am looking to change careers and would love to know how you transitioned from your old job to your current job. Did schooling play a part? Schooling did not play a part in it. Um, how did I get into my job? Okay. So what I did before is I worked for a natural stone countertopping place for nine years. And now what I currently do is working in the construction field. So they kind of go hand in hand. Not really, but kind of. But I mean, I only did like one specialty before, which was just countertops. And then, I mean, it was just natural stone. So it was like very, very hyper-focused. And now I'm kind of all over the board with like dealing with electrical and plumbing and HVAC and all these things that I don't know anything about. Like it's kind of mind boggling, but it, I mean, it's fine. I'm, I'm understanding it. It's a lot. Plus I don't necessarily do the labor part of it. I do a lot of the scheduling and a lot of the follow-up and selections and anyway a lot I do a lot but yeah I guess uh, the way I would advise you of like how to transition would just be to like if you have a job right now what do you like about your current job and maybe what do you not like about your current job and then you know try to find a job that is more to your liking I guess also if it's like a totally different thing say you work at a regular desk job and you want to, you know, be a dog groomer or something, you know, maybe talk to some people in the area that do dog grooming and see if you can do like apprenticing on the side and see if you really like it. I don't know. Um, maybe I'm like the worst at this kind of advice, you guys. I'm sorry, but that might be something I would do or like ask friends and family or maybe even like I do this a lot on my personal Facebook is I'll like do a shout out like hey, does anybody know anyone that does this in the area or whatever? Or hey, does anyone have any advice about this? And it's kind of amazing like what Facebook friends kind of come out of the woodwork. And a lot of times what will happen is like, it's like say if I'm looking for like an electrician, for example, like for my own personal place. To be like, hey, does anyone know anybody good at electricians? And someone might tag somebody else in it and then like we'll start in a conversation or whatever. Like, um, and maybe ask, on Facebook or unless you're like friends with people that you currently work with and you can't do that I don't know I'm sorry I wish I could help I don't know I'm the worst at advice you guys I'm just the worst all right so next question it's a financial question do you pay bills on auto pay or sit down and do them yourself how do you remember the days which things are due and it says this might be a cool financial Friday vid lastly do you pay the bills on the day they're due or beforehand I always pay my bills before they're due because I do everything through my bank um, except for I have one payment or no, I've got two payments. So my Netflix is automatic and also my auto insurance is automatic. So that comes out and I don't have to like plug it in. I plug in everything else and I really enjoy that control for some reason. So, but I pay everything beforehand because my bank, it takes typically one to two business days for it to like go through. Just depends on the place that I'm sending my money to and how fast like they accept the money. But yeah, so I pay everything in advance. Um, how do I keep track of them? Most of my stuff, I actually get like a physical, like hard copy bill mailed to me, which I kind of prefer. I don't know why, I'm like so old school that way. What happens is I will just kind of pile up a little stash of them and then usually, like I get paid every Friday, so usually like Saturday or Sunday, um, if there's anything to pay, I'll usually do it then, you know, just, because I can and that's when I do it. Um, unless it's something that I see and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is due in like less than a week and then I pay it right away. Cause usually, usually they bill like, say if it's something's due on the 15th, they bill out on like the 31st or the last day of the month. And then you've got like a couple of weeks to pay it, I guess. So I don't know, I like that control. So I like to do it just through my checking account. All right, and I think this is gonna be the last question for the Q and A because this video is getting really long says, hi Emily, what kind of music do you listen to? And who is your favorite artist? Love, love, love your channel. Oh, three loves, thank you. Oh, how do I answer this question? Uh, I like pretty much all kind of music. Um, I can tell you there's one type of music that I really don't like, and it is like 
that head thumping like house music like that techno house music oh my god gag me i don't like that stuff i'm sorry if you guys like that oh my gosh it gives me a splitting headache thankfully i'm out of that stage in life where i actually would go to clubs because i'm freaking old but i really don't appreciate that kind of music just because it gives me a headache like late 90s early 2000s rap i'm like a really big fan of i think a lot of you have seen my t-shirt that says but first gangster rap and it's kind of funny because a lot of times you see those shirts and it says like but first coffee no, I don't drink coffee, but I do listen to gangster rap and I love it. <laughs> also, I listen to, I don't know, like just chill music. I don't know, I'm so boring. Let me see on my iTunes, like what's the last thing I bought? Probably nothing interesting. Let's take a look and see. Okay, so let me just scroll through all the artists and you guys will kind of get a gist, all right? All right, so now we're in focus. All right, so here are the artists some of them are probably weird because I think I have my iTunes music in here too which it would be like an artist you wouldn't know anything about but yeah and I don't have like a ton of music but I listen mostly to Pandora and my favorite station at Pandora is Hip Hop Barbecue Listen to it. It's freaking good. Oh, did you guys see 50 Cent at the end? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. That's my musical playlist. All right, so Doyle never came up here. So let's see if we can get him up here. Hey, Doyle. You coming up here, buddy? Oh, I think he's coming. <gasps> there he is. There he is. Come on up, little guy. Come on up. Oh, my gosh. No, come over on this side. He likes to sit on the left. He's so weird. Oh, come over here. Oh, my God. Hold on, we gotta put this down so we can see the Doyle dog a little bit better. Okay, you gonna sit? Sit down. Thank you, you're so helpful. Your friends wanted to see you. Cause then I didn't, wouldn't win the Doyle challenge, which I don't know what I win. But I hope it's something good. Come here, come here. Oh, jeez, come here, come here, come here. Oh, goodness, goodness. Oh. <laughs> Hi, bud. You gonna pose for a thumbnail? So this is Doyle. He's my old man with the old plan. Oh, who's out there? Oh, old man. There's somebody outside. That's disgusting, Doyle. He just burped. Oh goodness, Doyle dog. All right, well, we are gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in another Laundry Day Q&A, just let me know down below. Don't ask any questions, though, down below because if I do another one of these, I will um, post on Instagram and Facebook, like an image so you can answer questions or answer, <laughs> ask questions down below. Oh my gosh, I have Doyle fur like literally up my nostril. Oh, gross. So if I do another Q&A or if we do a Doyle and Emily Q&A, maybe we can do like an all Doyle Q&A. That would be funny. You wanna do a QA? and a No, I don't think he does. He wants to sleep. That's what he wants. But like I said, if I do another one of these, I will uh, post an image on social media and I'll answer some questions from Facebook and then I'll answer some questions from Instagram on the next one if you guys want another one. We are gonna go. I will see you in the next vlog for tomorrow and you will see a special guest tomorrow. Miss Olivia is coming. Are you excited for Olivia? She's gonna sleep in here. Yeah, she's gonna sleep in your new room here. Is that okay? He's so enamored with outside because there's people walking around. <laughs> anyway, all right, so we are gonna jet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a paw up or a thumbs up, you know, whatever you got. Feel free to subscribe. I am here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday with new content, but right now I'm doing Blue Lie and Blue Lie is almost over with. And if you wanna catch up on Blue Lie or Vloon, the playlist will be down below. So anyway, all right, he's losing interest. I gotta do the rest of my laundry, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. You gonna say goodbye? You gonna say goodbye? <laughs> All right, bye. You're cute. But you smell. Don't smell your butt. Ugh. <laughs>